Hello everyone, Coach Carol here on January the 18th with Livecast 18. My tip for you today is a combination of things that will help you know where you came from. I think this is an important ingredient when we are researching our family history and building our family tree is to look back over those records we have of our ancestors to know where they lived. What was their house like? Did they live in that house for some years? And what were the stories about living in those areas, putting it into context? Let me share my slide with you today. So these three things I think will help look at your genealogy research through a different lens. Firstly, to reveal your ancestors' story you can in, and their journey, you can in, explore the census over the decades. For example, I've just been doing that for an ancestor of mine who I have the a, census from 1841 right through to 1881. And it gives me an idea of where she and her husband and children lived over that period of time. I can see the number of children growing from one decade to another, and I can see if they've moved in their location over that time. The census is a really important record for you to do that. So don't forget to look at them all in context. What I did was I downloaded the transcripts for each of those census and looked at them in my Adobe Reader side by side so that I could see the change across the decades. Another thing to help you look at your research through a different lens is to consider the timeline. This sort of advice is given by genealogists all the time. You need to have your ancestors' timeline. The easiest way to do that is to use a tree online. For example, in Find My Past, you can see the timeline for that ancestor within the record over the period of time that you've been researching them. When you're creating that timeline, it gives you an idea of the changes that might have taken place in their location in that era. So usually their lifetime might be 80 years. A lot can happen in that time. And you'll want to know where they were born, where their children were born, and prior to that, where they got married and where they're buried. So create a timeline for all of that and pass that on to your descendants. The third part of this is a different way of looking at your research, and that is to discover the history of their house. Now, there have been wonderful programs out there about house histories, and now through the wonders of the search fields in Ancestry.com and Find My Past, you can use place searches to find out a little bit more about the actual house that your ancestor lived in. Perhaps you'd rather do a house history to know who else has lived in that house and build up your own history of the house. So there are three things that you can do to help know where you came from and to have a look at your research through a different lens. And I like this little quote that you can see on my slide, or hopefully you can see. How can we know where we are going if we don't know where we came from? And that quote is from Becky Williamson Martin. So I'll stop sharing the slide right now and come back to the screen with you. And to remind you that if you liked these tips, and you want to find more, one place you can go to is my YouTube channel. 
And if you just type in coachcarolonline.com YouTube channel, you'll be able to find all of these live casts from January 2022. Alternatively, if you'd like to see all of them in the one course and to have that showing all of the other resources that I'm putting into it, you can go to my academy and look at the new course, which is brand new. Have I got the right list for you? I don't think I have. One moment. <laughs> it should be this one. That's better. If you're going across to the academy, you're looking for the course called Genealogy Tips 2022. So I'm including all of them in there as well. But I'm really looking forward to building up my followers in the YouTube channel. So really encouraging you to go there and have a look. There's many more videos for you to look at. So there we have it. Tip number 18 today in Know Where You Came From. I'll be back later with more.